Welcome to a lesson on continuous interest. In this lesson, we'll solve three types of continuous interest problems. If an initial investment or principal P is invested at an annual interest rate R and the interest is compounded continuously, then the amount A in the account after T years is given by the formula A equals P times E raised to the power of RT. So this is the continuous interest formula. R, the interest rate, must be expressed as a decimal, and the base E is called Euler's number, which is an irrational constant that's approximately 2.71828 and so on. Now we don't want to confuse this formula with the compound interest formula given here. In another lesson, we'll actually compare the results using continuous interest and compound interest. But for this lesson, we're going to focus only on continuous interest. Let's take a look at our first example. If you invest $2,500 in an account that pays 4% continuous interest, what will the balance be after four years? So in this case, P, the principal, or initial investment is $2,500. The annual interest rate is 4%, which must be expressed as a decimal. 4% as a decimal would be 0.04 and t is time in years, so t equals four years. And therefore, using our formula, the amount A after four years is equal to 2,500 times E raised to the power of R times t, which would be 0 0.04 times four. So now we'll go to the calculator to get a decimal approximation for this and round to the nearest cent or to two decimal places. So we have 2,500. If I press second LN for second natural log, it brings up E raised to the power of, and then we have 0 0.04 times four as the exponent, close parenthesis, and enter. So the balance will be approximately $2,933.78. Let's take a look at a second example. If you invest $4,000 in an account that pays 6% continuous interest, how long will it take for the balance to reach $6,000? So notice in this problem, we're given the principal of $4,000. We're also given the amount after, which would be $6,000. We're given R, and we're trying to find the value of T at the time it would take $4,000 to grow to $6,000. So again, P is equal to $4,000. A is equal to $6,000, the amount after. R, the rate of return is 6% continuous interest. As a decimal, that would be 0 0.06. And T is actually the unknown this time. So let's go ahead and set this up. We're going to have 6,000 equals P, which is 4,000, times E, raised to the power of R times T, or 0 0.06 times T. So what we're gonna do here is isolate the exponential part, or E raised to this power, and then we'll use logarithms to solve for T. So to begin, let's go ahead and divide both sides by 4,000. That would simplify it to one. This would be 6,000 divided by 4,000. This simplifies nicely to 6 fourths, or 3 halves. So we have 3 halves equals e raised to the power of 0.06t. And now we want to move t out of the exponent position. And we can do this by taking the natural log of both sides of the equation. If we take the natural log of the left and the right, we can now apply the power property of logarithms given here, where we can take this exponent and move it to the coefficient of the natural log. So now we have natural log 3 halves equals 0.06t times natural log e. But natural log e is actually equal to one, so this simplifies out. So now to solve for t, 
we want to divide both sides by 0 0.06. If you didn't recognize that natural log e was equal to one, you could also divide both sides by natural log e, and since it's equal to one, it would not affect the value of t. So this simplifies out, and so we have t is gonna be approximately equal to this quotient here, and now we'll go back to the calculator, and it says round to two decimal places. So we have natural log three halves, close parenthesis, divided by 0 0.06. And so it's gonna take approximately 6.76 years for this $4,000 to grow to $6,000 if it earns 6% 6 continuous interest. So again, the time is 6.76 years. which would be slightly longer than six years and nine months, since nine twelfths of a year would be three fourths of a year or 0.75 years. Let's take a look at one more example. How much must you invest in an account today that pays 5.5% continuous interest if you want $10,000 in the account five years from now? So we know the continuous interest rate is 5.5%. which as a decimal would be 0 0.055. Now what's different about this one is that we're given the amount after five years, so this $10,000 is actually A, so A is equal to $10,000, and the time T is five years. So again, our goal here is to find how much we have to invest today, or the value of P. So using the formula, we'd have 10,000 equals P, the unknown, times E, raised to the power of R times T, which would be 0 0.055 times five. So to solve this equation for P, we need to divide both sides by E raised to this power. So notice on the right side, this simplifies to one. So P will be approximately equal to this quotient. And one thing I do want to mention, we don't want to round this value, then find the quotient and round again, because that'll produce more of a rounding error. So we do want to leave it in its exact form, and then round at the very end. So going to the calculator, we'll have 10,000. divided by second natural log, and the exponent is 0 0.055 times five, close parenthesis, and enter. So you'd have to invest $7,595.72 today in order to have a balance of $10,000 five years from now. I hope you found this lesson helpful.